We have a third person tonight. Isn't that right, Emma? Hey, girl. What's up, guys? <clears throat> so we wanted to do a video tonight, and we were trying to think of what to make the video of, and we thought maybe somebody, some of you guys out there would want to know what we spent moving to Florida. Yep. How much it cost. Yep. A lot. It was pretty expensive. Um, I mean, but moving anywhere is expensive. Well, we we had to get um, two U-Hauls. Um, Dave actually moved down here before I did. So we bought a small pull-behind U-Haul. What was it called? Rented a 6x12 enclosed trailer and rented a 26-foot U-Haul. Instead of paying a moving company, a moving company would have been anywhere between, I think, what, three and $4,000? Yeah, three and $4,000. So the total cost for the U-Hauls were around $1,000, and we loaded everything up with help of some family, with our family yeah. and some friends. There was the cost of gas to get down here. Just That was around $350 between, well... <laughs> That was three hundred fifty dollars between the U-Haul, which her takes a lot of gas when you're driving a big U-Haul. Yeah, especially when I'm driving it because I'm getting after it, and my two vehicles are not very um, economy friendly from a fuel standpoint. So, so uh, like I said, Dave moved down here first before I did. He was down here for. Um, about three, three weeks. weeks before me, uh, Hurricane Florence prolonged that. Um, when Dave drove down here the first time, he had the small pull behind U-Haul and his truck. Um, so his truck was already down here. To get, <laughs> and that's Emma's nice little uh, noises over there. When we actually moved all of our stuff, Dave flew to uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, and had one of his friends pick him up and take him to the house. Um, so when we moved all of our stuff, um, he drove the U-Haul down and I drove my, uh, my car down. And the U-Haul had no air conditioner riding down here, and it was not cold out. So with that being said, it was extremely hot out. I had the windows down. I had my left arm propped outside of the window, so after about 10 hours of driving, I had sunburn yeah. on my left arm. So my left arm was red, and my <coughs> right arm was white. <laughs> um, so storage fees. We rented a storage unit to store mm -hmm. all of our stuff when we got down here. Um, how much was that? Uh, we had two, two storage units. We had a small storage unit, which we put most of our patio, uh, patio furniture, furniture, garage stuff. Like toolbox stuff, tools. That was a five by 10. <clears throat> and then we also rented a 10 by 30. Both of them were air conditioned. I think the cost for both of those per month was around $360 a month. When Before either one of us got down here, we had to have somewhere to stay. Um, so we went on to HomeAway, VRBO, Airbnb, and uh, you know looked at different properties. And Dave settled on VRBO. Um, well, how much was that? Uh, for six weeks, it was around three thirty-two hundred dollars. It's not cheap by any means. Um, and of course, anybody that moves anywhere, there's different scenarios, different situations um you know everybody's different uh we you know moved to an area where we didn't know anybody we didn't have any type of connection so we had to have somewhere to stay on a short-term basis in order to be able to look for a more long-term rental type of situation he is um, actually renting us this property on a Month to month, um, it, I mean, it is a lease. We did have to sign a lease, but it's a short-term lease. We did not have to lease for a year. Um, and we did have to pay pet deposits. Um, the lease is $1,540 a month. And again, I mean, that's any situation, whatever your situation is, you know, there's 
you can find rental properties for anywhere from $1,000 up to $2,000. It just depends on what you're looking for. Higher than that. Yeah. I saw some for four or $5,000 a month. There was another expense that we didn't um, the movers. talk about too. We, we hired movers because when we got down here, we had friends and family to help us get everything into the U-Haul. Um, but once we got the U-Haul to Florida, we did not have any help. Um, and we were kind of nervous about it before we got down here because I couldn't help Dave move all the heavy stuff that we have, all the heavy furniture. So the, the place, storage place yeah, that we rented. Yeah, the place we rented the storage unit from, they recommended someone and they said he works seven days a week. And I called him on a Saturday and asked him if he would help us move on Sunday. And he said, no problem. And he actually helped us move Sunday evening. They don't lollygag. They don't play with their phones. Um, I mean, they hustle. They'll have furniture in their hands and they literally will be jogging back and forth. Um, yeah, from the truck from to the, the truck storage to the unit, storage. from the rental, and they're very polite, and they show up with everything, all of the stuff to move, blankets, packing boxes for mirrors, pitchers. Um, I mean, these guys, they, they got it going on. And, and um, What's the name of their company? We Are Movers. Glenn with We Are Movers. Glenn is the owner. But um, they were awesome. Um, Another cost that we did not talk about in the beginning was the cost of packing material because we, um, <laughs> stop. we um, had to buy boxes and packing paper, tape. Um, I wrapped all of the, you know, our big furniture with um, the big things, the big huge things of plastic wrap that you buy. I'd say anywhere between $110 and $125 for the packing supplies. Overall, what would you think that it was total? Over $5,000. Yeah. To get down here. And get situated. But like we said, every situation is different. Everybody's, you know, the next person's situation is not going to be the same as ours. Um, and that price... For that number does not include the deposits that we paid for this house. Yeah. So if you factor that in, you're you know you're pushing seven thousand dollars to get yeah. down here, get situated, um, and get into a long term or, or short term rental, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I mean this is more long term than than what we were in in the beginning. Which you you guys have seen a video of that. I did a we did a tour of the townhouse, condo, the yeah townhouse condo, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that about wraps it up. So we are we're here. We're in Florida, and this is that's what it costs for us to get here. Yep. Yep. And we love it. Yep. You know what else I love? My Yeti cup with Jack and Coke or whatever this whiskey is but it's pretty good thanks Tony thanks Tony <laughs> bye guys bye see you in the next video bye Emma take says it bye easy too. all right bye say bye Emma